Manuka is a shrub or a small tree that is native to New Zealand and Australia. Its leaves are evergreen, small and fragrant. And its flowers are white or pink and also fragrant. People call it the New Zealand tea tree because of the use of its leaves for tea by the Aborigines of New Zealand, the Maoris. Manuka is used in Maori medicine for its antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral properties, probably since thousands of years. It is a highly important medicinal plant for the Maoris. Infusions made with the leaves were used to reduce fevers and treat stomach and urinary problems. The gum produced from the tree was used as a moisturizer for burns and to ease coughing. Decoctions from the bark were used as a sedative, a mouthwash, and to treat diarrhea and fever. A decoction of the leaves was drunk for urinary complaints and as a febrifuge, an agent for reducing fever. The steam from leaves boiled in water was inhaled for head colds. On Captain Cook's voyages of discovery around New Zealand from 1769 on, his crew boiled the leaves of Manuka to make tea. Captain Cook liked the bitter taste. European settlers also adopted the practice and the common name tea tree is still used for Manuka and the similar looking but genetically distinct Kanuka. In fact, three different species of Myrtaceae growing in Australia and New Zealand are known as tea tree. The Australian tea tree, the Melaloica alternifolia, the New Zealand manuka, the Leptospermum scoparium, and the kanuka, the Kunsea ericoides. So manuka should not be confused with the Australian tea tree or with kanuka. It is a successful colonizing plant with large numbers of seedlings covering large land areas rapidly. The essential oil of Manuka is known for its purifying virtues with wide applications. In diffusion, it is used to clean the air. Manuka reveals a soft, delicate, herbaceous scent with woody notes and is very appealing. Working from the Maori knowledge base of traditional use, East Cape tribes worked with scientists in the 1990s to discover that Manuka leaf extracts had antibiotic properties. This is due to a high level of the natural chemical called leptospermone, present in the distilled manuka oil. Importantly, they found that leptospermone acts against the methicillin-resistant bacterium Staphylococcus aureus, the original superbug that is a serious problem in hospitals today. Although it was later discovered that leptospermone is not present in all manuka or kanuka oils, this initial finding spurred wide-ranging research into the beneficial properties of manuka and kanuka oils. The main bioactive components are triketones, the leptospermone, flavison, isoleptospermone, grandiflorone, and a sesquitapin called calaminin. The essential oil of manuka is distilled from foliage that has been cut from the trees. No other part of the tree contains significant amounts of oil. So maintaining high foliage growth is important for oil production. In aromatherapy, manuka essential oil is known particularly for properties such as powerful atmospheric and antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, antihistamine, and expectorant. Research has shown that this oil is 20 times more powerful than tea tree oil on certain germs. So it is traditionally used as a valuable aid in case of mouth infections, ear, nose and throat infections, skin infections, etc. Oil producers promote use of manuka oil for its anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antiviral 
and antifungal properties. The oil is recommended also as a decongestant, muscle relaxant, pain reliever, and against head lice and intestinal worms. Manuka is considered also as an antidote for insect bites, used by the Maoris since ages. Just use that to build our base on. And the science side of things is looking at improving ways of doing our quality control, both here and on at the plantation things, and that's in the development of working with partners and that and developing new instrumentation, which we can measure things more accurately to get better quality control down the chain through to the end product and what products that goes into eventually. It treats fungal infections and is used against dandruff, best diluted in coconut oil. It is also useful in case of many skin problems like skin rashes and it creates softness on the skin. It has a special connection with the skin and is therefore used for multiple skin problems such as abscesses, ringworm ulcers, listers, warts, herpes, fungus, superficial wounds, sunburn, impetigo, varicose ulcers, bed sores, shingles, etc. Also in Ayurveda, Manuka oil has its connection with the skin. It is considered pitta reducing, especially for Brajaka pitta, the skin pitta, and it is good to use it diluted also in a coconut oil base. Manuka is also traditionally known to help in case of gingivitis, tonsillitis, mouth ulcer and bad breath. Also for respiratory problems such as bronchitis, catarrh, colds, flu, sinusitis and cough, Manuka has proven its curative energies. And also its capability to reduce high blood pressure has to be mentioned. Psychologically, Manuka oil is used in case of anger, depression, stress. It is known to reduce irritability, nervousness and latent fears. It bestows focus. It is good against hypersensitivity. It is a good stabilizer and protector for the nervous system due to the high degree of sesquiterpenes and triketones as we have seen. It increases personal energy, focus and it is grounding. And it gives spiritual clarity. Is it not wonderful that our global connectedness today has made it possible that such ancient treasures of folk medicine from the other side of the globe could reach us in our own cultures and spread their blessings everywhere under the guidance of ethnobotanical knowledge linked to modern research? Truly, we can only bow down to nature in her endless care, care and giving attitude for sustaining life on our planet in such amazing ways. Thank you.